Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and we're back in the Shave Den and it's time for another shave. This one, uh, I'm kind of catching up on uh, a lot of the requests. I spent a couple of hours last night going through the comments on some of the recent videos. I do try to read all your comments and if I miss some, I do apologize. There's always a lot. Uh, some good, most good, 99% good, some bad, but then uh, it's often good to get into a spirited debate with the bad comments and uh, it, it's always welcome. But uh, I wanted to say hello, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe. This one is called a European, an Eastern European shit, Eastern European shave. There we go, almost had to edit that out. I'm not wearing an Eastern European uh, jersey here, but this is my vintage 1996 when I was last in Europe, I was in England. Uh, I was visiting my hometown of Newcastle, and I picked up a Newcastle United shirt. So I'm kind of in the spirit of it. Most of these items come from Eastern Europe. People from Turkey may say, hey, Turkey is not Eastern Europe, but I looked it up on the Wikipedia, and a lot of you consider yourself Eastern European, and that's because Arco uh, is a product of Turkey, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to be using some Arco shave soap today gotta be argumentatively maybe one of the most popular shaving soaps in the world you see it everywhere uh i could be wrong but uh, i really arco for years you know i see it all the time so i'm going to be using arco shave soap today i'm going to be using uh, from the ukraine the apollo smart or the smart helix apollo light razor today you've seen me use uh, this in another video Got the stand here, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Sits out on my display. And it is a three-piece razor. Oops, we've got the little washer there. I usually keep them. They say they're used for shipping, so when it bounces around, the threads don't get messed up. But then I even had this upside down. But here we go. Got a couple of different heads on this one. Depends on which head you want. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the first one I see. And I'm going to use a Voskhod blade today. So here we go from Russia. All right. Hope you guys are all doing well. July came and went, didn't it? Whoops, already dropping stuff. All right. I've been working on the GoldenEye, the James Bond tribute shave to the movie GoldenEye. I was gonna do that one today. I need a shave, but uh, I don't quite have all the props and all of the, uh, all of the, Items needed in line yet. So there we go. All right. So I've got my Voskhod blade in here. Really a nice, well-machined razor. Ready to go. I'm going to use uh, Barbas Active, uh, the uh, aftershave gel today. After, isn't it? Considered a gel. Yep, it's a gel. Aftershave gel today. Uh, for the first time, I use, uh, quite often I'm using Barbas because uh, it's, you know, reasonably priced and it's kind of like, a, you know, quick barbershop shave type stuff. But today I'm going to be trying that gel. All right. The only exception to Eastern European, of course, is the Mula uh, Badger brush. Someone said, hey man, I don't see you using badgers a lot. <laughs> Let's see here. And there's your badgers. I do have a ton of badgers. Let me set this up again. <laughs> what a blooper day. All right, let me get the mula into the uh, crystal skull here. I've had a couple of coffees. It's lunchtime, but I'm still not feeling wide awake. And here we are. Uh, oh, and I have cut myself here the other day. So I'm expecting to open that up today. And if I do, 
I've got the Allen block uh, handy. August already. All right, here's some trivia. Here's your PSA, my PSA. Uh, I didn't know, but August is Hair Loss Prevention Month. And my second most popular video was just done, not as a joke, but uh, just done because my friend, one of my friend, I was undergoing some treatment for some kidney issues back in 2003. And it was causing my hair to fall out. And you, you, that was a shock to me. I know a lot of you guys have already lost your hair, man, and, and you look good. I look like Herman Munster. I got a long forehead. If I didn't have any hair, oh, it would be a scary sight. Believe me, guys. So uh, I was a little worried. And the lady that, uh, that cuts my hair, she's been cutting my hair, God, since early 2000, uh, recommended I use Nioxin. And I've been getting this from Costco uh, or Amazon. This is what I use. Somebody said, what do you use and what are you going to talk about for hair loss prevention month? I, I use that. I've been using it for years. I'm not associated with the company. They they did reach out to me and uh, say that they have watched my video. So I really do appreciate that. But I've used that and it's kept my hair in. And I use the number three because I dye my hair. Because here I get the uh, Mel Gibson from, uh, what was it? The Road Warrior. I get the white streak here and the white streak here. It looks like I saw a ghost and uh, I kind of dye that in. And I was lucky enough to get a haircut yesterday, even though the barber shops are shut down. My, uh, the lady that cuts my hair invited me over. She had a garage set up like a salon, full masks. We did it, haircut that is, uh, got it all done and uh, very happy with that. All right, so that's my PSA for the month. You guys use what you want, but that's what I use, you guys had asked. I was gonna do a video just entirely on shampoo, but it's it kind of boring, right? That would be kind of boring, all right. Oh, classic barbershop scent. Very classic. There we go. Now, I probably should have put this in the bowl. This is a puck. Let's see, puck comes out. I probably should have put that in the bowl. There's probably people tuning out already saying you talk too much. All right. Then I hear people saying, we come for the shave, but we stay for the talk. So I do appreciate that too. See, I do need one. <laughs> Especially go with a new haircut, right? Can't be looking like Don Johnson from the uh, Miami Vice. Half the audience is saying, what the hell is Miami Vice? He used to have the unshaved look back in the 80s. <laughs> you guys remember Miami Vice? Very popular out here. They used to have Miami Vice parties, man. People used to get messed up drinking and <laughs> be visiting someone's house Friday night and watching Miami Vice and the new styles that they showed. head seems a little thin too, which is nice because, see, look at that. It's a little thinner. So it seems to get a little more angular control. I'll coin that phrase. Yeah, I was working on the props for gold, uh, the golden eye tribute shave and I should have that coming up soon. I'm going to use the gold sensor XL or sensor. Oh man, I think I just cut myself. I was expecting that. Yeah, 
ഒക്കെ നമുക്ക് നടിയായിട്ട് found out where Taylor of Old Bond Street was located. A lot of you guys in that one of the previous videos said you've actually visited the shop. And it's not on Bond Street, but it's in London. And man, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool to check that out. Hawkins and Brimble is going to be stocked in the West Coast shaving. So looking forward to going back. I don't know if I can yet. You know, I don't know if they're open. They're open online, but... Abraham, can I come into the store and look around or is it masked up and better safe than sorry, right? Look, oh, more water needed. See that? See how dry and thin? Badger's a little bit out of water. Now we're adding some. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, there you go, right? You get used to your own brush. I'm using so many different ones. But again, I have a shaving channel. You guys who just shave at home, you don't need 50 brushes. Or... You can get sick of me using the same soap, the same brush, and the same razor in two shaves. I would. So it's kind of good to change it up a little. I think Manchester, or I mean Manchester, Newcastle United played Arsenal, I think, the other day. Got it taped. It was on Telemundo. So it's in Spanish, but, you know, I still can follow it. I can still, I just haven't watched it completely yet. So I don't know how the Magpies did. All right. See the soap coming through the holes? It's kind of cool. Watch. The drains. It's quiet out there. My lunch is at eleven thirty. Their lunch is at 12, so I get this sweet spot of half an hour. When everybody else is working, I can do a shave. Red, not really bleeding. I don't need the alum block. And if you're new to the channel, yeah, I only do two passes. I can do three. I'd bore you. Third pass is not necessary. Not with me, at least. With you guys, it might. Man. All right. The soap and brush combo work good. The blade and razor combo work good. All right. We'll try a little Barbus gel now. It's got the active scent. Oh, and it burns. Oh, 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 man, right there for sure where I cut myself. There must be alcohol in that, boys. All right. Hey, well, thank you for watching, and thank you for putting up with my PSA. Like I say, I get a lot of questions and comments, and uh, that used to be my most, I think, 147,000 views. Used to be my most popular uh, 
video, but now I think wet shaving for beginners is, and the Nioxin is number two, but it works for me. Will it work for you? I don't know. That's up to you. All right. We're back in business, guys. Oh, yeah, and uh, we've got the Seiko Arnie on still, and uh, one of my friends, Brian, he just picked up the Pepsi-bezeled uh, Seiko Arnie. So congratulations, dude. That thing looks great. Uh, can't go wrong with that. I love that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, uh, Commando, Predator. I loved uh, that he wore this watch in it, and uh, I've been wanting one for years, so there we go. I don't work for Seiko. I bought my own. All right, everybody. Have a great night. We'll talk to you real soon.